Inside the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook is a formation called Gun Bunch Offset, which has some of the best plays found in Madden 24. And in this video, I'll be breaking down some of my favorite setups throughout this game that ends with us on a crucial money drive, starting with the first play of the game where I call Vert's Under. This play is going to allow me to attack my opponent's defense where he's going to be blitzing both of his slot corners. So our slot wide receiver on the right and our running back are both going to attack the middle of the field to exploit this. Corners, he's not blitzing him this time. Yes, he is. Boom. Good. Let's go. Get out. Get out. Come on. A little crosser from verticals. Yes, please. We out. Thank you. Not much better than a one-play touchdown to get us started, boys. He's going to check down to the flats and actually gain a good amount of yards right here. And then on the very next play, I send the dogs. We don't get home. And yeah, that's where my user needs to be. Oh, my gosh. With our opponent having a 10-7 lead, I'm a huge advocate of returning all of our kick returns at Madden 24. They're just super OP. And Deion Sanders is a dog back Ooh. there. Oh, 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 my gosh. We got caught. Oh, we're looking to attack right over that corner on the right. No, we're not. Boom, late. Let's go, we got to fight a little bit. Let's go, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Uh, and then do I just go inside zone split right here? No, he can't. Easy. Come on. We're not even out of the first quarter yet, and there's already been 24 total points scored, so you know this game's about to be bonkers. We get another big stop right there on third and eight. We're going to sack our quarterback. Fourth and 10, he's going to launch a deep ball. No way. Yes, come on. Now, this might actually be the best play in the game. It's called double post, and this C route is amazing when you have a drag coming underneath it to create a high-low on the sideline, and then a hitch in a post, another great high-low over the middle of the field. This play is insane. Something. There we go. Boom. Cook, cook, cook. Good job, Devin. That's a tough read to make, dude, but if you can make that C route read, it just opens up so much, man. It, it really does. It just opens up so much of an offense, I, I feel like. We're going to get him out of the backfield quick here. Boom. Quick throw. I'm going to need you to... Fight, fight, yo, I'm spamming A. Get it. Oh. Under center, dude. We're going, you already know what it is. We're going to RPO stretches, bro. So you'll stretch, boom. I mean, yeah, nice. Good. I mean, that's like the best run in the game. These RPO stretches underneath center. Before we get into our next drive, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrient supplement that supports whole body health. With 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients, AG1 is a comprehensive nutritional supplement that provides nutrients for your body, brain, and gut health. And since I included AG1 as part of my daily routine two months ago, it's been nice knowing I get all the vitamins I need every single day that I could just miss in my normal diet. And on top of that, I felt my energy levels stay high throughout the day, and I have less bloating in my gut, it feels like. And as someone who frequents the gym five to six times a week, I've noticed I feel like I recover faster from my workouts. In fact, I need to drink AG1 just one time a day to get all of these awesome benefits. It's become a no-brainer to put into my daily schedule. Drinking AG1 is easy. Just mix one scoop with about eight ounces of water. If you're like me, you can use this sick AG1 little water bottle right here. Shake it up some or stir it. And then just like that, you're done, baby. Nice. To try AG1 yourself, go to the top of the description and click on the very first link you see. That's gonna get you an entire year supply for free of AG Vitamin D3 plus K2. And you'll also get five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video. And now back to the game. Our opponent quickly shows us so that you want to take your checkdowns in Madden as Mike Jasicki makes one person miss, two people miss, three people miss now, and he's going to make maybe a fourth right here. Uh, kinda. I mean, geez, dude, like, what is going on right now, dude? Second at 10, he throws it to Franco Harris, getting very close to the red zone, which leads to one of the biggest hits I've seen this year. There's a hard flat. Thank you. Great. He'll pick it. Great hit. This brings up a fourth and four for our opponent, and if we can get a stop here, we're going to control the rest of this game, and he fits this in. There's a hook and a man up right there. Oh. With two minutes left, I'm actually going to audible over to Bunch Strong Nasty to call PA Bunch Shot. This play is amazing at attacking both zone and man with numerous crossing routes, a deep post, and this running back streak does a really good job of hitting the middle of the field where the defense just isn't expecting it at all. PA Bunch Shot, boom. The play action blocking should do a pretty good job. And yeah, awesome play. Awesome play. That might be a DB fire beater for me, or dollar beater, I should say. And I decided to go right back to the same play on second and four, but this time put my running back and a wheel up the sideline. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. Come on. I almost want to fall down. Ah, uh, we'll do it. It's fine. A minute left now in half, and he is looking to move the ball fast. He, we get super lucky with an overthrow on a corner route, and our pressure knocks the ball loose. Third and 10, though, he's going to take a flat to Mike Jasicki again. And once again, this dude is just making... Make my players look like idiots in the open field. Jade down man, but we're gonna do left side like this. Oh, it's gonna be taken care of. I got post. Corner, we're there. Good. Pick! Woohoo! And a 
charge hurdle. And we're gone. And we're gone. And I'm gonna fall down for time purposes. This ends up backfiring a lot on me where I decide to go down right here. I'm really just trying to milk the clock. He gets ball at half, but on second and goal, he ends up hitting me in the backfield, making a pretty tough third and goal. I love this play, dig return, where we have the zig route and dig on the left, and then we have a zig on the iso side to the right, but this is to the wide side of the field. And this just isn't how I'm supposed to run this play, and you can see why. Oh, he threw a pick. Am I throw a pick six? The six? Yep. That's what I get. Oh, I tried doing elite clock management one time. And it backfires. The half still has a few seconds left, so we're going to set up a bomb play right here where we're going PA read out of gun bunch offset, and we're going to utilize this deep post on the left side of the field, put a streak on the same side as him, and then we just got to roll out and make a play happen. This is our best shot at this, in, in, with this much time left in half. Well, we have a, what's insane is we actually have the touchdown. We just see a time. Dang it. So for the final play, we're just going to hand the ball off to Bo Jackson. He doesn't do anything too crazy. We're going to nurse a five-point lead heading into half. Really a blown opportunity from us. Thankfully, he's missing a few throws, and our defense is playing pretty good, which makes me kind of leads me to believe that I should have just scored before half. Fourth and five right here, though. We're going to do a lot of aggressive coverage and then up top. No. Is that open? Tariq? Oh, my gosh. Good dot. I need to make a read over top right here. Let's see if he can. Ah, he did. Good dot. And just like that, we are actually losing by a point now. And that just shows how fast Madden can change. You see us go back to verticals. He sends that pressure up the middle, meaning that our tight end's actually going to be open. That's that first play that we scored on this game, and we're going back to it. And at this time, hit Jerry Rice on a nice crossing route. Juke move in. The juke moves are so good in this game. And then we're going back to double post. I know he has man coverage on my tight end right here, and this tight end flat is so good at just getting quickly out. So we're moving to quickly throw it to him. Shannon Sharp gets up the sideline again. Throw your flat routes, boys. They are so powerful at Madden 24. We're just going to do the exact same thing over to the other side again. Why not? Good. We're going again. Come on. Come on. I'm just going to fall down. I don't see myself be able to make eight people miss. This close to the end zone, I think the best bet is to run the ball. So we're going to audible over that bunch X nasty. That's where PA bunch shot was from earlier. And we're going to hand the ball off. Oh, make a miss. Get in, both. No. Yeah, running the ball in that situation, just by far the smart thing to do. Nice short side corner route from him right there. Those are always going to do a good job against zone coverage. I'm mixing a lot of zone and man. Really good pocket presence. And then once again, I give up a deep ball. I got to stop doing this. Oh, that is not a throw. Is that really? Wow. Good job, dude. A part of my game that I've been trying to improve a lot for the tournaments is clock management. And with just under five minutes to go in the fourth quarter, I want to make this the last drive of the game. So we're going to run the ball a lot. We're going to purposely not get chunk plays and really just try to milk and drip as, and just eat as much of the clock as we can. You see us using that juke move. I might even go on conservative in this situation. Another handoff right here. First and ten. Come on. And you can see the clock is already underneath three minutes. So if we can score a touchdown here soon, it's going to put him in a really bad spot. This zig to the left side is good, and we're going to purposely stay in bounds and be short of the marker, which is really nice. But on second and two, we get bagged. And this leads to a third and seven, where once again, we are absolutely bagged, meaning that we're going to end up bringing up a big four down soon. Oh my gosh, throw it away. Ah! And with the game essentially on the line, we audible over to Gun Bunch Strong and we call PA Bunch Shot. You've seen this route come up a few times now, but this time I'm going to motion my half back over and put him on drag, creating a little mesh underneath with double drags, along with a deep post to attack super deep down the field and this crossing route. Go hut, hut. We got to block it. Please block. We didn't do a good job. We got an X, so make the throw, make the catch. Good job. Come on. Good job. And now I'm really just focused on getting the ball into the end zone, although it's pretty hard. We do an RPO stretch. It comes up short and then RPO stretch again to the left side. This comes up short. So we're going to a fourth and goal. And if you remember, I threw a pick on this same play in the second quarter. I ran that zig to the right side, got undercut. So we're going to do the same thing, but run to the left, which is going to be the short side. We snap it. We're looking. We're dropping. Duh! Come on. Of five, we go for two to make it a one touchdown game. Got it. Catch it. Oh, great catch. Dude, I just got it. Wow. Dot, 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 dot. And now, with under a minute left, he's down by seven. It's all about just finding a way to get a stop. I want to send a lot of pressure here. He has no timeouts. If we can sack him, it's almost GG's. But he's going to do a good job checking down to the flat immediately to the right. He doesn't have to get a huge play, but then he does. The corner route getting him across midfield. He is moving the ball really fast. And listen, I'm giving up pretty much for as good as my defense played all game. I feel like besides giving up just random streaks. He was able to convert over and over again. We're on 4th and 11 with 10 seconds left now. I'm going to man up 3 deep. 
just looking for something. He ends up throwing this drag to the left side, way short of the first down marker, bringing him all the way to the 14. And with one final play left, I'm going to send all the pressure at him. Good D! No, mine! GG's! Bing, 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 bing! Come on! If you enjoyed that video, check out this one right here where I break down another one of my favorite offenses in Madden 24, and I bet you can learn something from it.